artists working with two art mediums can be an enriching experience, offering both creative flexibility and the opportunity to develop unique hybrid styles. Hi, I'm Yin. I'm a self-taught artist. To me, making art is like an experimental journey. And I rely a lot on my passion and resourcefulness. Flipping through my old art is like walking down an old memory lane of reflecting myself as an artist. I always treat recreation of art as a valuable exercise. Whether to pay homage to a masterpiece or to add a modern twist to a classic. This allows me to understand the nuances of the original and to interpret it in my own style. I'm currently working on a project that is a request came from a YouTube friend, Byron. The request from him is to recreate Alice in Wonderland 1951 in Sailor Moon style. Frankly speaking, there are already tons of beautiful resources out there that can help me to elevate my ideas and to put them into drawings. The main purpose of this drawing is not to create a totally new character, but to bring a breath of new life by extracting the essence of each character. And I hope that I can be more objective by looking at things around them in a more open-minded way. While recreating this character, I always look out for things like the line works. And I come to a decision that I still want her features to look like 1950s style. Because eventually, I still want her to be Alice herself. Playing with hairstyle is quite a fun thing when you're trying to put down into drawings. And for this, I intentionally putting down her fringe that look like Sailor Moon. This can be a tricky moment because eventually, at the end of the day, I still want people to recognize her as Alice in Wonderland. And that is why I decided to add in the black hairband and keeping her hair at shoulder length. And putting a little twist that is going to be in Sailor Moon style. Well, I don't know how successful it can be, but I need to keep going. Sailor Moon is a series of manga that is popular of all time and is origin in from Japan. I have done a few observations of Sailor Moon. She is known for her colorful outfits and magical girl transformation. And Sailor Moon will have all these exceptional long slim arms and legs. And not forgetting about all those casting shadows on her. For the clothes, this time I have done a little bit of design and to add in some colors that can really fit into the character. And manga characters always have all these black fine lines. For the choice of colors, I will just stick to white and blue which is from the main characters. It can be a struggle when it comes to planning of which area it should be white, which area it should be blue, to make it more pleasing. I would say that it is the most easiest when applying the skin tones on the manga characters. Just use peach. I think so far, I'm quite satisfied with how I did with the moon. The drawing will not be complete without this rabbit. Alice is the most iconic character in Alice in Wonderland. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a very straightforward drawing for this rabbit.
And finally is the last portion and which is the background that I'm going to throw in. It took me a lot of time to come to planning on how I'm going to um, draw the background. Do I need to include other things, other elements? To be honest, I love to watch people draw flowers, but I hate to draw it myself. And I feel that it is relatable to this drawing and that's why I'm pushing myself, you know, to include all these details in. Beside the composition and the overall colour scheme, what I wanted to achieve is to let the drawing tell its story. Okay, and I hope that Byron will like the overall result. And I'm going to continue the music and let you all enjoy the rest of the video.